Greetings everyone and welcome back to an off day Blade Bias special because the past two days I didn't upload um, because I actually took a break from like battle song stuff. I know I said I was doing that like the last week of school but considering that that wasn't like you know an actual break since I was doing school I decided you know what two days I'm just not going to worry about videos. I didn't even flip um, the entirety of the weekend basically but now we are back in the swing of things. It is officially the end of everything. And I'm here. I'm ready to focus on content. And today we will be talking about Blade Show because that is coming up very, very soon. There's two specific things I want to talk about with Blade Show. Um, specifically what I plan on doing and what I want you guys to do if you go. Uh, and then also what you guys want to see from this channel, because it's going to be very likely that I pre-record everything before I go and then just upload and schedule it for while I'm out on the trip. Because last year I got very, very lucky getting to try everything that Ty had before the show, and then that means I had like a month's worth of content stretched out and it was great. That's not going to happen this time because Ty doesn't, Ty hasn't really, you know, added to his collection basically at all. So besides maybe a few quick update videos on like, oh, here's what I think of this, here's what I think of this, I'll probably make a video on like the Nautilus again or something like that. Um, it'll probably be something where, you know, I'll just pre-record things here. So I most importantly want to know what you guys want to see out of me for the like week or so that I am away. What, what content do you want to see? What do you want to see me talk about? All of that stuff. Um, I'll be working on the videos that I have promised in the past, and then also another one that's important is this, the Corvus. I think this will be the next video that I release, probably tomorrow as you're watching this, unless this decide I decide to make this go out in the 22nd, which is possible. I don't know. Um, and actually, Sarah's feeling a little bit loose, which gives me the perfect opportunity to use this, this LDY screwdriver, which I didn't really get to use last time. Uh, when I open the Corvus, but now, now that I have gotten a chance to use it, I really, really like it. This thing is super, super cool, but you know, we'll get more into that in the, uh, the Corvus week video. I believe it's the bite handle that usually loosens on this thing. My mess is my mess. My desk is a mess. Please forgive me on that. Um, could be a little tighter, honestly. But yeah, I want to know what you guys want to see from me uh, when I'm at Blade Show. Like, what do you want me to pre-record? What do you want me to talk about? Okay, we're good. Felt a little bit off, but whatever. And I also just want to give you guys kind of a, a heads up of what the show is hopefully going to look like for me. So for anyone who is going to Blade Show, the most important thing I want to stress is if you're there and you see me, please come say hi. It always is one of the most sad things ever to get home from Blade Show, having finally experienced it and being satisfied like with hanging out with the community and meeting everyone, and then you get that DM of like, I was there and I saw you, but I was too nervous to come up and say hi. I promise you guys, I'm probably more scared of the social interaction than you are. I'm just better at hiding it, so please come up please say hi please do whatever you want the only the only thing i ask is if it looks like me and ty are recording something maybe just hold off for a bit um because it's it's kind of tough to do videos when there's people who are like constantly coming up and blade show is just really difficult to do things in general because there's always someone that you could stop and talk to and it's great and i love that about it so don't worry too much about it. I don't think I'll be doing content like... It, I won't be like Will and Brandon. It's not going to be like I'm going to be constantly recording content. But if it looks like I'm doing a piece, maybe on a ballad song or something, maybe just hold off for a few minutes. Um, but if you're only there for a few minutes and you want to come say hi, then there's no other time to do it. Go for it. Not a huge deal at all. So yeah, come up and say hi. And if you're in the area... Uh, go check out Brandon's video that he did on the Will Hirsch Flips video or Will Hirsch Flips channel talking about what you should do around the time of Blade Show or like things in the area that you can check out. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff in Atlanta. I've gone on some really cool adventures with people from Blade Show. 
in the past. A lot of cool stuff to go check out. Find your people. It's really easy to find your people at Blade Show um, because everyone there is your people. You have a common interest. You have Bala songs. Even if I, I totally get the people who are like, yeah, but I'm like, I'm like kind of awkward and weird and whatever. And I, I don't feel comfortable with that kind of stuff. But it's so easy to strike up conversation because everyone there has one single interest. The thing with doing that in real life is that you don't know that. You could go up to someone and say, hey, I love playing guitar, but they might not know anything about that. So there's no common ground to talk about. Ballad songs, you can always talk about it. Someone's holding the cool ballad song that you want to check out. Go up and talk to them. The worst they can say is no. I mean, I guess some people in this community could be bigger assholes than that. But, you know, I'm not, I've never experienced anything close to that at Blade Show. So it's really easy to join a flipping circle and just, even just feel like you're part of something. Because um, that was usually me just kind of sitting in a flipping circle, listening to the conversation going on. And that's just super fun. Um, so go check out Brandon's video on stuff to do outside of Blade Show. When you're in Blade Show, go check out the stuff that you've always wanted to try. It's a little hectic, um, and I think tr trying things at Blade Show will never be the same as getting to try it in the comfort of your own home. I think the Seraph has really proven that to me, but it's still enough to give you an idea of if you might like something or not. So check out all the stuff that you can. Talk to all the people that you can. This is the chance to maybe make some new friends. Um, even just for the weekend. I think it's... It, Blade Show is just super, super sick. I can't recommend it enough. So if you're going, hope to see you there. I'll be around the show. I don't know what I'll be wearing. I'll probably be wearing the... You guys see my outfits every other day. I'll probably be wearing stuff that you, you normally see me wearing. Except it'll be shorts instead of my usual jean pants. Um, but come say hi. Absolutely. I don't think I'll be filming any Blade Bias at the show. Who knows? Maybe at the pit or something like that. Maybe I'll do like a, a DJI List Pyro style video where we just kind of hang out at the pit and, and banter and everything with a head mount and flip. I don't know. I don't want to promise anything because sometimes you get to Blade Show and you're like, man, I really want to enjoy this instead of focusing on content, 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 content. And that's one thing that I really don't envy Will and Brandon for because they are going, going, going all the time. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Go to Blade Show if you can. If you can't, be sure to check out all the content that's going to come out ab uh, about it. There's a lot of content creators going this year. Um, a lot of people that I'm super excited to meet, talk to, hang out with, etc. Excited to meet the community. The one thing that I'm a little bit stressed about right now is how I'm going to carry my collection. I am going to do a Blade Bias video, kind of like packing for Blade Show. But the reality of my collection is at this point that there is just stuff everywhere. There's, you can see there's like three ballast songs in here. All these cases down here are full. My main case is full. I don't even think, I think I could bring three of these cases and still not be able to bring everything that people would want to try or check out for my collection or cool stuff like that. So maybe as well in the comments, let me know if there's like a very specific ballast song if you're going to Blade Show that you want to be able to see in person, that you want to be able to try out, um, stuff like that. And I think I have a solution for it, but it's not guaranteed yet. If I figure out a solution for that, I'll do a video kind of talking about it. But yeah, we're two weeks away. Blade Show has always, it, it always consistently feels like it's two months away. After it happens, it's like, oh yeah, it's coming around quick. Like it'll be here before you know it. But then as it starts sneaking up, like the beginning of May, I'm like, oh yeah, it's still two months away. Even right now, I'm like, yeah, it's like still two months away. I got time to do everything. No, I don't. I'm running out of time very quickly to do everything. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it. Just a little ramble video about Blade Show. Super excited to go. Again, please come up and talk to me. I don't, I really don't. It, it, it really, it's really sad to get those messages like, oh, I saw you, but I wasn't, I wasn't, uh you know, confident enough to come up and say hi, or I felt weird about it or whatever. Don't feel weird about it. We're there to meet people and that's, and hang out with people. And that's the point. So that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all for watching. And I'm excited to get back into the regular flow of content for you guys. See you guys in the next one. Later.